Hey guys, we just got back from Target and I wanted to show you this really cool um, knife set that we found there for only $20. Louise bought it for me for my early Christmas gift because that's what I asked for. Because I knew that if we waited, they'd all be gone and I probably wouldn't be able to find it again. But I thought this was really cool. Ugh, try not to drop it. A Farberware knife set. And look, it says organic vegetables. Natural delicious <laughs> and yum aren't those cute i really really like them i thought they'd be really cool for like recipe videos and stuff so i had to have them i really like them so i wanted to share those with you guys and oh i also want to do a taste test because they have these new chocolate covered cocoa melts because we stopped at natural grocers also because we're gonna have um crispy tender tacos for dinner so we needed to get crispy tenders <laughs> by garden of course so I want to do a taste test of these uh, chocolate covered cocoa melts that I found because I've never seen them before. I think they're a new product. So let's dig through the bags. Oh, it's in this bag. Actually, I got some new um, hair dye because I need to dye my hair. And I also bought a new shampoo and conditioner that I've never tried before by Andalou. I used their hair cream coiffant stuff. I got one of those too. This one, styling gel. I use this one for my hair to give it more volume. I didn't use any today because I was running out. So, like, my hair is very... I have very baby fine hair, so I need something to make it feel thicker. And, you know, give it some thickness. So, yeah, we'll give this a try. I've never tried it before. I bought the shampoo and the conditioner of that. The Andalou, whatever. It was on sale for $8, so I figured I'll get it while it's on sale because I did need shampoo. And I wanted to try something new because I usually buy the Jason's, which I actually think it's Yasson or Jason something. I think it's French because it has like an accent on it. I'm not sure, but I call it Jason's. I usually use Jason's um, shampoo, but I want to try something new. So anyway, here's the Coco Mel's. The bag is really tiny. <laughs> Excuse uh, my messy hair. Um, yeah, let me wash my hands and then we can give these a little quick taste test. I'm sure they're gonna be good. Thank you. All right, so they're pretty small. Gary and come taste one. We're all gonna try one right now, except for daddy. Mm. Good. Mm. Logan died. Logan died. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. My gosh. Salt caramel chocolate. That I just guess. <sighs> Would you give it one out of ten? Eight uh, million uh, thousand pie. <laughs> Eight million pie. thousand. Over, over infinitely pie 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 pie. It's really good. It does have? I mean, it does say that there's sea salt, but I think they have just a tiny bit too much salt. What? I'd like them to have a little bit less salt, but they're still really good. Hopefully they'll make the, um, well, no, I don't know. They did have vanilla flavored ones too. So I think that's the only two that they, two kinds that they have is the sea salt and vanilla also in the regular flavors. But anyway, yeah, pretty good. I would give Delicious. it, I would give it an eight out of 10. A little bit too much salt, like I said, but still really, really good. You guys should give it a try. Let us know in the comments if you've already tried these and what you thought, and or if you've tried the vanilla ones and if you think those are better than these ones, because I'm sure I'm going to try them eventually, but I don't know. I wanted to try the plain ones first for some reason. Usually I would get vanilla, but... Are you back there making faces? No. Anyway, so... Like I said, it's taco night, so we're about to make dinner, and then we're gonna watch The Addams Family, because we've been trying to stick with the Halloween theme of movies, though we skipped last week, because um, the week before... We got scared. We, got scared out of The Conjuring. Yeah, we watched The Conjuring, which I told Luis was gonna scare them, because it was really... It scared me. It didn't even scare me. Huh. It just reminded me of Insidious. Yeah, I really like Insidious. Insidious is one of my favorite... It's nice. ...scary movies. It's nice. It's not nice. It, it's a it, scary movie. Yeah, but like, um... <laughs> anyway. So, Gary got a new fidget spinner that lights up. <coughs> but apparently you can't see it. You can see it in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go in your room and show it? Mm. 
Figurine wants to show you his new fidget spinner that lights up. He had money uh, left over from his birthday that he wanted to spend. So we got that. What else did you get? I forgot. Um, did you get the car set? No. Oh no, you got Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, anyway, as I was trying to say, we've been trying to watch scary movies every week, but uh, yeah, they got really scared after watching The Conjuring, so last week we didn't watch anything. But, so we're gonna go back to the more, you know, kid-friendly movies, so we're gonna watch Adam's Family tonight. And then we still need to watch like Nightmare Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus and Adam's Family too. And like, I like to watch Beetlejuice during Halloween time too. So yeah, every week we're trying to watch something together as a family. And next Friday, we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch, which is a, a tradition too. So anyway, yeah. So we're just gonna hang out and start making dinner now. We're finished watching Adam's Family and now I figured I'd come in here to say goodnight to you guys because uh, they're in there still watching TV or Gary and wanted to watch Cloverfield which I'm surprised that one doesn't scare him but yeah so I, I don't know if, it sounds like they're playing a video game though so I don't know if they're actually watching it or not but I'll find out in a minute but anyway <laughs> sorry this is kind of an uneventful day uh, we just Luis and I just relaxed for most of the day. That's pretty much all we did all day long was uh, go to Target <laughs> and we took a nap and uh, made some food. That's pretty much it. It was a very, very lazy Friday. It was a very lazy day off, which is good sometimes. Sometimes you just need to relax to get some extra rest. But I thought I would tell you guys that I still haven't had Luis um, taste test the seitan that I made the other day. Um, I'm trying to find a way to make it more flavorful before I give it to him because I don't want, I want him to like it like right away, you know what I mean? Because, I don't know though, he's not as picky as I am, so I don't know, I'm just a little worried that I think he'll like it, but I want to be like 100% sure that it's really, really good. Because, um, I don't know, to me the seasonings that I put in it, it make it, it's a very mildly seasoned, so... I don't know for me I like things very very seasoned so I'm a little nervous if he's gonna like it or not so I tried to cook it up and make it um, more flavorful by putting some liquid aminos on it and stuff but then for me it was like too salty and it just was like overpowering so I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do with it yet my friend Amy gave me an idea to like kind of cut it up and make it into like a barbecue sandwich type thing and so I might try that and then see if he likes it, but I gotta double check and make sure I have some barbecue sauce in the fridge because I'm not buying any more groceries this week. So if we don't have it, I'll have to come up with something else. But I, think I just thought I'd let those of you who were curious if he liked it or not know that he hasn't tried it yet. So I'm gonna keep experimenting with that. And I did join, <laughs> someone recommended that I join um, this Facebook group called the Satan Appreciation Society, which I think is like the funniest, nerdiest name and I love it. <laughs> but I joined it and right away I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy that um, you told me to join the group because I saw so many amazing looking recipes like right away, like so many good looking pictures and there was, there was a book recommended to buy so I put that in my Amazon wish list. So sorry, I can't remember your name right now who recommended that. Facebook group to me but thank you because it looks like a really cool group that I'm gonna enjoy a lot so I might become satan obsessed after <laughs> joining this Facebook group so hopefully in the future once I perfect my satan recipes I can like share that with you guys I'll have to make my own though and not use ones that are already in this like popular cookbook that's in the the group or whatever but I can use that as a basis for learning how to make better satan so anyway <laughs> I'm just rambling now, so I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching my little broccoli bites, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!